cool in it. Sorry, anesthetics, you might just want to watch your machine. Sorry, anesthetics, your um, your monitor's about to be pushed. Oh, so that's like a railroad, is it? Oh yeah. Oh, quite a lot. oh, so it is. Yeah, you can't see it at all, can you? Cool. Overlay. Okay. So basically, so there's a blockage just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can see. Shoot off this way. We should be in the interior filling. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a smaller cap that comes through. Yes, I can. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it moving. That's just. A How long's the procedure take? Roughly. Uh, at its quickest, maybe yeah. 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> so they're trying again. So they'll things to just keep sucking while they think that they're still getting stuff out. Yep. Uh -huh. And when they're happy they'll do another a DSA run that we just did before. And hopefully we'll see more of them swimming. And so they know they're getting stuff out because they put it over that gauze so yeah. you see that. Correct, yeah. Another one too. What's, yeah. what's the success rate? Right? It's pretty high. Like what from, from the removal mm. but, Yeah. Um, obviously it takes a little bit of time to know how successful in terms of what they wake up like. Yeah, but you, you, you will yeah. pretty much get stuff out. I'd say it's probably 80% of the time. Can you let the doctor? <laughs> so they're just going to flush the actual catheter that was in there and make sure that there's no clock sitting in there. Oh, yeah, because it can get stuck anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got reasonable volume of clock out. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at that. That is an entire hemisphere of brain reperfused. Is it that dramatic? That is phenomenal. Sorry. So all this has gone before? Yeah, all of that was gone. That's incredible. From like, yeah?